I'd like to share with you how I make pineapple juice in a blender. And when you do the pineapple juice in the blender, you really get all the juice out and very little pulp left over. To find the right pineapple, it's good to have one that has just a little bit of yellow to it. And also when you're ready to use it, you can bring it home. And when it's ripe, you'll know because you'll take one of the inner um, leaves and it, they pull right out. And so that's an indication that it's ready to use. And when I cut my pineapple for juice instead of eating, or I might be cutting it up to blend up for a smoothie, I don't cut off the skin very deep because it is, um, you're just taking off the outer layer. And when you do that, you're going to still have a little bit of the brown left over, those brown spots. But that's okay because it's going to get um, used up in the juice anyway. But I don't want to use the skins in the juice or blend them up because being shipped overseas because they're out of the country, they could have um, been put through a chamber with chemicals and things to kill bugs. And so I just want to make sure that we're not getting any added chemicals in our diet. So as you can see, it still has uh, some brown spots on it. And I'll cut it right down the middle. And you can use the core. The core is actually very good to use. It is where um, a lot of the enzymes are. Now, this one's a little bit overripe, but I think it's still going to be good. So I'll cut it in big chunks and put it in the blender. And I had, from opening up a coconut earlier, I had some water from the coconut left over. I'm just going to add a little bit of that to there. You don't need to, especially if it's a Vitamix, because it has um, plenty of juice in that to let it blend without having to add water. I make these strainer bags that we're going to go ahead and strain the juice in and strain the juice out of and it is made out of sheer curtain fabric and it seems to work so well for things like um, watermelon juice or nut milks. Watermelon juice you do the same way you just put it in the blender make sure you blend up the seeds too because there's a lot of good nutrients in those seeds and they're they're good for a diuretic for people that might be having um, edema. And so I just pour it all in there. And as you can see, it's flowing out very nicely. I squeeze it, it's going to come out even easier. And I like to make my bags big so that I can move it around and kind of open up those pores that have got clogged by squeezing it already so you, you have room to maneuver it and move things around so that you have uh, continually you're able to get juice out. When you do it in a regular juicer, like especially a centrifuge, it doesn't seem to juice it very well. There's a lot of moisture in the pulp left over. So this way you are getting so much more out and there's a lot less waste. And of course you're getting more nutrition. And so I kind of move things around and keep, keep it going. Normally I use my bigger bags because then you have a larger area to um, 
to push it through. And this is getting kind of, the pores in this cloth are getting uh, kind of clogged, so it's harder and harder to, to push it through. But I want to get it all the way out so that you can see how, how dry, how little pulp is left in doing this method. Okay, I think that's good. So, let's pull it into here. Okay. So, there you have the pulp all in one glob. Very little pulp. Put it in a quart jar and have it. So this is from one pineapple. So we got, this is a full quart. So there you have that much juice from a pineapple without a juicer.